Uh, Big D, you um, let's, let's lighten on up a little bit. Let, I want to talk to you about um, well, Whitney and Bobby. Um, you know, you 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 the you the first guy took me out there to the country club. I mm then -hmm. uh, uh, Norcross. I got to meet Whitney Houston. Uh, I, I I tell people you know some of the stories. Yeah, I got to meet Bobby Brown, which you know New Edition was my favorite. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It don't get no better than New Edition. I argue right now today. I don't care if y'all was out there when the Temptations was out <laughs> and Irwin and Fire. B2K. I hear B2K. B2K. Yeah, all that. <laughs> New Edition was mine. Right, so, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. So uh, so I love Bobby Brown. Yeah, so to yeah. get to meet him, you know, it was just great. Uh, you you uh, wind up writing a book. Wrote his book. Uh, you wrote, wrote his, his book. Life. Yeah, with me and, and him uh, wrote it. Me absolutely. Wrote it you and him wrote it. And then you, you guys... Um, uh, Y'all did a, a, a special on Reels. Yeah, we did two hour special. Uh, well, well I, I did two hour special. You yeah. did, yeah. What 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 went into that, and what was it like? You know, working with you know Bobby and Whitney uh, on that project. On which project? On the Reels project that I that well, we well, saw. Well, that ain't nothing to do with Bobby and Whitney. That was some people over in London I did that with. Oh, and okay. I, and I, okay. I handled all the production over in the United States for them. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. I had wrote the being Bobby had wrote the book. You know, that put me out on the stage. Yeah. Anything Bobby Brown, I'm number one with the media. Mm -hmm. Anything Bobby Brown, media called me first. Mm. I don't oh. care whatever. Bobby go fall on the, slip on the banana <laughs> peel out there right now and break his neck, they going to call me. Yeah. Tell me what happened. Wow. Yeah, so that's what prompted that uh, that Reels. That, that Reels two thing. Hour special. Okay. Yeah, it's number one show on Reels. The Reels Network, number one show. Uh, Bobby and Whitney Addicted to Love. That's the name of it. Okay. So anybody want to catch it or something. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, well, Whitney and Bobby Addicted to Love. But, yeah, man, uh, so, yeah, they stepped to me with that, man, and uh, we did. That was, that was a great, that probably one of the best documentaries because it was a uh, docu-movie. So mm. You had to act in this stuff, too. Yeah, yeah. And then I kind of narrated it. I was like the main narrator that narrated the whole thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I knew a lot about their situation. That's right. Well, I wrote the book. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. And uh, yeah, when that book came out, man, that that, that was something else. Yeah, how, how did you? How did you? <laughs> how, D, how did that you meet Bobby? Changed my life. Yeah, <laughs> come on. How did you meet him though? I met Bobby you? through his sister Carol. Through, oh, through Coop. Through Coop. Coop. Through Coop. Shout out Coop, man. Coop What's B. happening, Coop? Shout out to Coop B. Yeah, okay. That's my booski. Yeah. So Coop this is B. That's Bobby Baby's sister. Yeah. Bobby Baby's sister and uh, man, I like this man. I love Coop. Uh, yeah, so that's how I met Bob, you know, um, back in the day, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, kind of established that relationship, like me and Dre did. You know, mm -hmm. I met Dre through his cousin Monica Rising when he first came to Atlanta. Gotcha. Monica Rising. He was always like, I'm meeting you guy through their girls. You know, I was dating their girls, or, uh, their sisters or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. so it's so, just so happened type of thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that, that's how I met Bob, man, through Carol. Cool. Man, have you have you have you spoke with Bobby Man since he lost his wife, his daughter, his son? I had spoke what what, what I would you had, say to I a person that to, you know I like spoke to him. I did a lot of interviews about it. But I hadn't spoke to him and I hadn't spoke to him because, you know, we had our little thing with in me and Harry never had a thing. It, it's him and his 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 wife now. Yeah. Oh. You know. Um uh, the wife that he was with now, you know. I was Whitney. Mm. Whitney was my girl, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. The wife, you know, his new wife, you know, she came in the picture. She kind of like, she wanted to remove everybody that she felt had some type of influence on him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She wanted to remove everybody, family members and all. Yeah. You know, so I'm just going to leave that at that. Yeah. So she, and she was successful at it. You know, she took him and moved him over here and did a thing. So that kind of what happened with that. So, you know, I just told her, hey, man, call me when you get a divorce. Right. <laughs> That's how I left it with him. That's what I told yeah. her. Yeah, yeah. Was, you get was your heart heavy though? Do you have to feel for a guy, man? Like man, heavy, that you and him know that you and him don't went through what y'all don't, man, you know, nah, all that. I, I, and, and, and for him, like I said, I ain't never had no people by. I ain't never had no. Oh problem right, by. right. But you to lose that's my to... guy, but the, she did that. She broke that. You know what I'm saying? She wanted that. She didn't want nobody up under him. She felt had any type of influence over. Right. You know what I mean? So that's what happened with that. But yeah, man. I mean. All this started happening afterwards, you know what I'm saying? After the book came out and she came in the middle of all that and it was just a big mess. You can read about that. Just Google that. And then, uh, you know, uh, Whitney died right after that. You know, then it was just like a free fall. Like yeah. Whitney and, you know, uh, his pops. Pop died. Papa, t uh, uh, Pop uh, Brown. Uh, Papa Brown died. Pop Brown and his mama. Pop, yep, yep. Oh, my God. Yep, yep. Uh, Mom died first, then Pop. 
Mom died. Mom Brown died for her. Then Pop died. I knew then. I'm just watching. I'm like, oh, man, this man is distraught. Like, these are all the main people in his life. You talking yeah. about Whitney, his mom and dad? Oh, my goodness. They were the main people in his life. Then you know his daughter. I mean? that, then his yes, son. Yes, and that was a few years later. Yeah. When that happened, at that point, I was just like, what is going on? Like, yeah. it's some type of curse or something? What is going on? Like, this man... Yes, yeah, so it's just, yeah, that really affected me, you know what I'm saying? Because I met them, you know, I was close to all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you used know, to take me over there, man. Yeah, like, yeah, I was close so. to them, so it was like, yeah, that hurt, bro. You know, that really, really hurt, man, you know, and I really felt for him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because dude is a good dude. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like how Andre is, you right. know what I mean? You know how right. Dre is. Like, yeah. these are good dudes for them to be on the levels they own, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The type of guy, you know, mm -hmm. that they down to earth, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I can't even hang, if you ain't down to earth, you not going to be in my cypher anyway. Come on now. <laughs> I don't even believe in no, Come on. you, you ain't doing no shnine on me, ever. Right. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? I have money. Come on. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what it feel like not to have no money. Yeah. Right. So, you know, I always had money. And then that, they respect me for that, too, because they yeah. always know this dude will hold his own huh? in any in level. Whatever you want to do, let's do it. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, I always have my own. So, you know, but, uh, yeah, they humble, man. The dudes are really humble guys, man, and, and, and and that's why I said it just broke my heart, man, to see him going through that. You yeah. Know, going through something like that, you know, because the person he is and everything. But Wow. Man, yeah. shout out to Bobby Brown, man. man shout out to Bobby, up, man. Shout out saying? to Bobby, man. Coop, all oh, y'all, yeah, man. Yeah, Coop B. Head up. Shout out to Coop B. That's right, man. My yeah. folks, bro. My folks. Like I said, a lot of history, man. A lot of ATL history. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of ATL history, man. I've been right there. I've been right there. What was your all. favorite part of the ATL history? My favorite part of the ATL history? <laughs> that funny. You said the favorite part. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good you don't question. Have so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what to say. You don't have yeah. so much fun. Nah, but I don't have fun, but then at the same time, it ended up in tragedy. Yeah. The thing about even with Andre and Lisa, you know what I'm saying? Like, we having all this big fun, doing all this yeah. big stuff, and then the house fire, and then not long after that, she died. Like, you know, so it like it's only like a short time periods of fun, yeah. And then tragedy, yeah. you know. Then even with Bob, we doing all this and that, you know. Uh, we had fun. Don't yeah. get twisted. We had fun. We had fun. And then tragedy strikes, yeah. you know. And then it's just like, oh man, like everything just kind of what happened. Like everything went away. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but man, and then even we get on my feet with the straight from the deck. Yeah. As soon as we hit it big. The federalists want to come see me. My God. I'm talking about sooner we hit it, sooner straight for the day. Take off, man. And it's it just wasn't a even a week. Man, I'm talking about. Not man, even a week. Literally, like, something like that. And then mm -hmm. I got out on bond and was able to be out and handle the business for like another four or five months mm -hmm. before I had to go back in. So I got to try to get as much business as I could take exactly. care of mm -hmm. before I had to turn myself back in. Mm -hmm. with the, you know, mm -hmm. but yeah, it wasn't even a week, man. Like, boom, tragedy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't got to deal with this. So, I'm saying, when, when, with the fun, that's a good question. When would I just have fun? When did I just really? Hopefully, with this under the rise exactly. movie, we just did, I think this is it. Right, yeah. I think this is going to be my and, fun. And, and you know something, D? I want, um, everything that you just said, they end in tragedy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I tell people this all the time. Karma always is, karma, it comes Ooh. around to get you. Ooh, yeah. So, if you kind of live in a certain kind of way, right. if you're doing stuff that you know, because uh, you know you come from a good family, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um mm -hmm. Grandmama just passed, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, but I know how you raised, you yeah. know? And uh, if you kind of doing something wrong, my mother say this, that that's what'll happen. Mm. You know, you know, tragedy, will nothing will be blessed. My mother mm. always say that. Mm. You will not be blessed mm. like you think you are if you living wrong. Wow. So with this movie wow. right here, Nanny D, that you don't, you know, oh, you, you yeah, paid your man. debt to society. All my debts you know, you're doing society. stuff the right way. Absolutely. How do you Absolutely. feel about this movie? You got well, man, me and Beehive in it. Got, got, got you man, and Beehive. I'm loving that shit. Y'all did y'all things. Well, fun as hell, too, man. Y'all boys are hilarious, man. I was sitting back looking at some of the edits. They already started messing around with it. Y'all boys said, these boys killed Y'all did a great job. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, y'all did great it's job. It's your fun. Yeah, yeah, man. It's a lot of ATL history in this movie, too. Yeah. When is it going to come out, D? When this summer, baby. This, <laughs> this summer, we get into this summer, we're going to be the biggest thing happening. Woo! The theaters and everything, you know? My God. We getting ready for the premiere. We put, putting the premiere together now that y'all going to host. I'm we here for it. We're going to have the biggest premiere ever in Atlanta history. I'm telling y'all that right now. We already planning it. 
We're going to have a concert. We're going to let, we, I'm going to suit to perform. Mm. I'm calling out Jagged Ed. I'm calling out all the ATL legends. Oh, uh, the Young Bloods. All the Woo. rappers. Come yeah, on. We're going to bring the mob back. We're going to bring everybody. I'm, I'm calling out everybody to, to do, we're going to like a couple songs before the. You do, we got to get Toop to come too now. You know, Toop yeah. be on the man, show, man. Toop, <laughs> Toop my dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Toop do whatever he want to do with us. <laughs> so, you know so, but yeah, so. Uh, I'm calling everybody out, man, to open up and just, you know, it's going to be an ATL thing. Yes, sir. Because there's a lot of history in that, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a big ATL night. You know, y'all going to host it. And uh, we're going to do it at the theater. We already decided we're going to do it. It's going to be a screen on the green thing. Okay. okay. It ain't going to be no inside venue. It's going to be outside. We're going to be do it at the Marlin. I'm telling everybody now. Oh, it's for the first drive. Time. At the drive-in, oh, we're going we to That's hard. We're going to do the drive-in, take one of them screens. You know, you ain't going to have to be in the drive you know, we're gonna put the speakers out there, yeah. everything, everybody sit out on the on the on the on the pavement out there and we just gonna have a great night. Summer I night. Yeah, great summer yes. night, man. We're gonna shut the whole city down for this night. <laughs>